Hello, my name is Pooja Yagnik and my qualification is MSc BA. Uh, I was studying uh, in the School of Science and I did MSc in School of Science with uh, specialization with physics. Uh, as well as I did uh, BA and um, I have uh, four years experience of teaching. Uh, my teaching is one of my favorite hobby. And uh, I uh, am from Ahmedabad, so I was uh, teaching in Government Polytechnic College in Ahmedabad. Um, it's uh, uh, 2015 to 2016. Before that, I was uh, teaching in uh, Vijayanagar Secondary School, and uh, that is also in Ahmedabad. Uh, I was teaching in a grade uh, 11 and 12, and um, uh, at there, I was teaching uh, practical as well as theory in physics. So, uh, are you ready? Okay, today uh, I'm going to teach you uh, grade five science and the topic is uh, things around us. Things around us. Two types of things around us and uh, type one is living things and second is non-living things. Living things considered plants, animals and human beings. So um, we can say considered plants animals and human beings. In non-living things, you can say it considered uh, like soil, sand, air, sunlight, or table, chair, etc. So, First of all, we have to uh, we have to study that uh, what is a non-living things. What is the definition of non-living things? So we can say things which cannot grow, more, move, breathe, and reproduce are called the non-living things. And the opposite of non-living things is living things. So we can say uh, what is the living things. So in uh, living things. It, uh, the things uh, that can grow, move, breathe, and reproduce are called living things. So, character. What are, what are the characteristics of living things? So, we can say first characteristics. I'm going to write in a short characteristics of living things are this. First. First is, you can say, first is uh, it can well or, uh, organize bodies. So we will write well organize bodies. Second characteristics of living things is they need energies. They need energy. For example, plants and animals need energy from somewhere. We get energy by eating food and plants get energy by sunlight. And animals, for example, cow, it get energy by eating plants or grass or other food items. So we get an energy by getting some food. So living things uh, will get energy by living uh, by eating foods or sunlight so third characteristics of uh, living things is uh, it can grow and increase in size in size so we can say human beings as well as plants grow and increase in size by getting food or energy otherwise it will not grow so now fourth uh, characteristics of living things is it can move on their, it 
can move here on so we can move by ourselves but a table or a chair like non living things cannot be moved by their own so uh, you may have one question that you may have one question that plants can't move by itself so why it is called a living things even though plants cannot move from one place to another but they move their stems to face the sun hence they are also called a living things now you now we are going in a five fifth characteristics fifth characteristics is respond to stimuli so now what is a stimuli stimuli is it can be internal or external so it is one type of sense organs such as the ear so living things can respond to stimuli uh, again what is a stimuli so stimuli is one type of sense organ one type of sense and it can be internal or external suppose the ear is a external external and our human heart is in a internal so it can be internal or external so now we are moving in a six characteristics six characteristic is respond sorry uh, reproduce young young ones of their own kind living things can reproduce young ones of their own kind even a plant seeds can reproduce of same kind of plant and we all know about the human beings so we can say one of the characteristics of living things is reproduce young ones of their own kind now moving on the seventh characteristics no sorry it it uh, it, it has only six characteristics so uh, revise it things around us is uh, two types of things around us that is a living things and non living things what is a living things so living things can be grow move breathe and reproduce that are the living things for example so what was what were the examples it considers plants animals and human beings so now what is a non living things non living things that the definition of non living things is that things which cannot grow move breathe and reproduce are called non living things so now okay um Uh, we will add a seventh characteristics and that is have a definite life span so what is the definite life span uh, for example i can uh, say that a plant or an animal has a definite life span it cannot be infinite for example a plant can be died after its life span will complete it cannot be grow more up, uh, from uh, it cannot give seeds once its life span life span will over so same situation with an animal and same situation with us as human being so human being has also a definite life span we cannot live uh, in finite we have our own age and we have our own life span definite life span so understand it's it have a definite life span so now we will revise the characteristics living things character characteristics uh, first is well organized body uh, second is they need energy third is grow and increase in size four is move on their own fifth is respond to stimuli and sixth is reproduce young ones of their own kind and last seven is have a definite life span so now um, i said you may have one question that plant can't move by itself so why it is called a living things so again uh, the answer is 
uh, the answer is even though plants cannot move from one place to another they move their stems to face the sun hence they are also living things for example sunflower sunflower stem while the sunlight is uh, uh, sunlight is in uh, on the sunflower uh, a sunflower stems it faces the sun so uh, so they are also living things it can't move from one place to another but they move uh, move their face to the sun hence they are also living things one uh, uh, and in a last in a last non living things example is soil sand air sunlight table chair etc so many examples are considered in non living things uh, you may see uh, around around us around here so hope you like my, uh, my demo lecture Thank you.